Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll show you how you can design this professional belly design in minutes. All right, so I'll show you how you can get this exact shape designed with just Pixel Lab. So I didn't download the shape. I made this shape using Pixel Lab. All right. So if you are just joining us for the first time, kindly subscribe so you can get updated on my video tutorials. Any video tutorial release, you can get updated. You can be the first to receive um the notification. All right. So let's get started without wasting time. I have to take this and then I will head to my grid and then I will set up the grid. Okay. So I think um, I'm good to go. So what I'll do next now is to head to shape. Okay. If you want to get this exact grid, so this one I used um, 79 and this I used 25 and for this I used 11 and this one I used 88. Although you can use any values for yours. So I just used this when I was creating mine. All right. So the first thing I will do now is to head to shape. So I'll click on um, shape. Shape. Um, okay. I've actually changed this color earlier. So, okay. Let me return this to the normal color. Okay. So, so I'll head to shape and then I'll choose the shape. So I'll activate this so I can get this aligned with the grid. So once this is done, I'll just change the color. I'll change this color to black. All right. Okay. I'll make sure it's aligning uh, with my grid. And then, okay. So I'm good to go. So now the next is to reduce the radius to 50. So I should, this should be 50. And then the next thing I will do from here is to import another shape. All right, another shape. And then I will use it to close up on these parts. Okay. Then I'll change the color to black as well. All right. So I'll pick another shape and I'll place it at this side. I'll bring it closer. So I'll just cover one side of the design and then I'll pick the black color. All right. So as you can see, I've achieved this. So what I will do next now is to get my, um, is to get my other design, my other, um, something so I'll just pick this I will copy this all right so and then I'll return this to the initial radius which is zero and I'll bring it closer here so I'll click on edit so I can align this okay and align this together with this it's already aligned okay so now I'll return this to 50 all right so what i will do from here is to go to stroke now i enable the stroke for just this one and i think two is perfect so once i'm done i'll take it to the back of the other ones i have uh, made a layer so as you can see all right so the next thing now i will do is to merge the first one which is um this one so I've merged this, I've merged this, so I'm left with this and this, all right. So what I will do next is to pick, to pick another shape black, put the color black, okay. So make sure it's black and not anything related to black. So I'll make this black. And then with this exact, um, this and I'll put it here, I'll bring it here. Okay, put it here. So I extend it out to the bits because I want to erase some parts. Okay, so I'll come back here and I'll extend this out to the bit too. All right, so let's see. Okay, so I think this is looking good. All right, so what I'll do now is to match these ones and then the last one together. All right, so from here, I'll have to erase color and erase. Okay, so I'll click on this to pick the black color because I need the white, so I'll just erase the black. 
all right so just take your time and follow my steps and you get all this done so as you can see these two things are separated now as you can see all right so i can just enlarge this to give it a space as you can see so i'll make sure it's balanced and aligned with Okay. Alright. So once I've gotten this, the next thing I will do here is to is to pick a circle and then I'll reduce this to the minimum size, which should be this. Okay. Okay, this is too small. Pick a circle and I'll reduce this to a very tiny size. Alright, so from here I can move this I move it to this place, to this point As you can see from here, my um, the stroke is somehow somehow um, blur at the edge, so I don't want this blur, so I'll have to I'll have to erase the edges so I'll head to I'll just click on that layer and I'll head to erase and then I will erase I'll pick the um, the square eraser and I'll erase some of the edges okay so I'll raise this side and I'll erase this side so as you can see it's back to normal all right so what I'll do now is to bring my um my circle closer okay so i'll copy and i'll bring it to the other side too all right so i'll copy this again and i'll take it to this side Okay, so I'm just I'm going to copy this again, and I'll bring it to the other side of the stroke. So let me enlarge this so I can see what I'm doing clearly. So I'll make sure it's at the center. Okay, okay I'll make sure this one too is at the center. So guys, the next thing I'll do now is to match the circles with my stroke, which is this. So I'm going to match them all together. As you can see, they are all separated. Okay. So the next thing is to, okay, I'll add a picture to this. So that's my picture. So this picture can be in transparent or in JPEG formats. So I head straight to okay. Then I'll pick a picture. Okay. So this was the picture I used. All right. So now I'll still use that um, layer, and then I'll click on stroke, and I will enable stroke, and I pick up just I pick just a color. I think this color should be okay. So I'll use this color. So the next thing I will do is to merge the both of them together. And so now we've gotten our frame. We've gotten our frame. Okay, from here I can then change the background color to black. All right. Since we've gotten our frame. All right. So the next thing I will do from here now is to is import a shape again. Okay. So I'll make this 100, then I'll take it, okay, I'll change the color, so I'll pick the color of the um, 
picking up a color here so you will get um a rhyming color all right and i'll take this to the back okay so this is great you can decide to enlarge this picture depending on what you okay so it's great like this okay so what i'll do now is to go to stroke and i'll enable stroke so i'll pick black i'll pick black and then i'll increase it until it's cover up the spaces so this is good this is great so I should make sure this is at the center all right as you can see we are heading somewhere we've just designed the um the frame okay the next thing I will do now is the yeah so the tests two twenty three and then I'll pick a font I used earlier which is um okay which is no okay Right. So I'll reduce this. Okay. Now bring it over to this side. So I can zoom this to view this. So now we just need to space this out. I had to space in. I will space this out, alright? Okay, I will copy this same font, but I will reduce the spacing. I will turn the spacing to the normal number, to my value, which is zero. Okay, from here, I will type the dates and the months. This is the tenth. So I will enlarge this one. I will make this bold. Now bring this over here. So this is two bolts. Alright, so this should be great. Okay, 13th June. So this June should be um, small in size. And then I'll make sure it's aligned with the number. All right, so the next okay, I'll put 13, right? So this will be TH. So I just need to reduce this. All right. Okay. Oh, it's too small. So let's increase. Okay, this should be great. All right. So the next is the date. Tuesday. So make sure the sizes are balanced and aligned. All right, so this is great. Okay, let me space out this small. Okay, and then I'll give this some space in. So the next is the birthday test. So I'll write happy. 
so this happy we go with um the initial will be capital and others bring small letters so it will go with a stylish fonts so go with this one okay so the next is the birthday test all in capital letters per day okay so I'll make this fonts bold you know so I'll use this one and then the alignments I'll use this one okay so let's use a different color okay the same color with the frame stroke so for the birthday wishes i'll just use one of these quotes okay i'll use this Um, the alignment should be this one. So, followed by the name of the celebrant, which is Usas Michael. Right, so we just need to reduce this. Okay, so let me raise this upward. All right, so the next thing I'll do here now is to add an element to make this more professional. Okay, so I'll add this. So I'll pick a similar color for this. So this one should be great. Or this, all right, or do I use this? A similar color, similar to the colors in the flyer. All right, so from here, you can see. So guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe and like. Also share to your friends. See you all next in my next tutorial. So to save, just click on here and then you save. So you choose the ultra quality ultra and then you save